Hi everyone. I'm back doing a painting. It's been quite a few months since I've done a Dutch pour and it just was a rough 2019. Family, all kinds of things, but hopefully 2020 will get better. So I started out by using this almost a year ago. So this is what I'm going to use today, my little mini leaf blower. And I've already prepped my canvas. I have my paint and Floetrol mixture on it. Two to one, two Floetrol, one paint, and a little bit of water. And these are the colors I'm going to be using. I have Lucas Brand Prussian Blue. I have cobalt blue in Lucas brand, which is actually lighter than showing on the camera. I have Lucas brand magenta. As you can see, I like Lucas brand, which actually comes out of Jerry's Autorama. Lucas brand sap green. And here's a familiar one. Artist Loft Cobalt Blue. So I'm going to get started. Oh, I see a little couple little thingies here. Let's get them out of there. Okay. So I'm going to try just some paint in the center like I did on the last ones. See how I do. See if I still got it. So let me lay my paints down. I'm going to start off with the cobalt blue. And I got these little bottles at the dollar store. Two in a package for a dollar. And the little top stays on, which is good for me because I have a habit of losing the tops. So let's put a little puddle in the center. Okay. And we're going to do the sap green next. A little bit of him there. And this is my first time trying this in quite a while. The Artist Loft Cobalt Blue. Which is my second favorite color. Prussian Blue being my first. Here's the magenta. And here's the cobalt blue. I'm going to do a couple little lines all over the place with this. Maybe a little on the outside. See how it goes. Now, I'm only going to use a little white on the outside. Not too much. Well, let me plug in my little leaf blower and we'll see how it's going to work for me. There we go. The on and off button on it though. It's kind of stuck so I'll just plug it right in and use it. Here goes my mighty little leaf blower. Blow the white over. See what happens. Wait a couple seconds. I see some cells starting to come up. Let's go back over this way. And let's blow it out. A mighty little thing. I love this color combination. I 
Let's go over this way and try to get some color over here. Oh, this one just wants to mix with the white, which is perfectly fine. Oh my goodness. I see a dolphin right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm not touching that. That is so cool. It even has a, a green dot that came up like where an eye would be. So cool. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I am not touching that dolphin. I even see a fin right there. Oh, I hope it doesn't move. Of course, we know how pain is. Let's try to get some of this pink out. I hope you can hear me over this. Oh, I love this thing. So cool looking. I've got to take a picture of that dolphin for you guys. Let's bring some of that pink over here. There we go. cells are starting to come up right here, but our dolphin's still there. That is too cool. Oh, the green eye popped up. Must have been a bubble. Oh, we see things. In one of my other videos, when I used this, I saw several birds. If you go back and look at it. It's too cool looking. I have got to take a picture of that dolphin before it disappears. Love this. Try to get a picture of that dolphin. And I will be right back. Hey you guys, I'm just having too much fun here. <laughs> Added a little bit more paint right here so I can get some more color over this side. Let's see what we can do on this side. Trying to make a wave for the dolphin. As you can see, he's still there. Pretty cool. Either that or a flower that's blooming open. Oh my gosh! There's what looks like another dolphin right there. I don't even want to touch the rest of this now. That is absolutely too cool. Let me shut this off. Let's show you guys. A little baby dolphin. Oh my gosh, that's too cool. That's too neat. Let me zoom you down to the little baby dolphin. Oops, let's see, let's get you down this way. There it is, right there. Can you see it right there? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And this one's not disappearing, it's got a little chubbier. That is so cool, even with an eye. And I did not do that. It looks like a freckly little dolphin. I am so excited. 
All right, I'm going to stop this for a second and get a picture of that little baby dolphin for you guys. All right, I had to come down and show you guys even closer. I love it. And then off to the side of that where I was thought I was making a wave, it kind of looks like an eagle. Let me show you. With a big eagle eye. Oh my gosh. Abstract art is the greatest. I love it. I love the things that show up in it. My little dolphin over here is getting a little fatter. He just ate. <laughs> but I love the way this turned out. So I hope you like this video. I hope you like and subscribe. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do a bigger one. I think it's a uh, 12 by 20, I believe. I'm going to do a longer one. So thanks for watching. I really enjoy this, as you, as you can tell. All right, bye bye, okay, guys. I just had to show you this. And that eye came up all by itself. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. And I don't know what's going on over here, but that looks like some sort of a fish. And we still have our dolphin. It's been a few minutes now, and we still have this dolphin. Dolphin, fish, whatever you would like to say. So, I think this is my under the sea or above the sea Dutch pour. So, again, I hope you guys like this. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.